Hi, I'm August Bryce with TechWellness.com, where we talk about solutions for living healthy, safe, and well in our digital world. A lot of people today are concerned about wireless EMF. Those are electromagnetic fields that have been shown to have a biological effect, and frankly, they come from everything wireless. And frankly, they're increasing at a dramatic pace because we just have more and more wireless everywhere. So a lot of people are looking to shielded solutions. And today we're gonna to talk about clothing that can shield you from the EMF. And we're going to talk about how it works and we're going to show you with meters because the meters can tell us they measure this invisible wireless energy and they can tell us what's happening when we use shielding. And today I was very fortunate to receive a beautiful shirt from Lambs and I said, you know, you need to read my article and you need to see the research because I'm really not a huge fan, but they insisted that I test it. So I'm going to do that today and we're going to see how an EMF shielded t-shirt works. So today, this is fun. We have two EMF meters. One's more directional. One's going to give us a great ambient measurement. One only goes to 2000, where actually 10 is the number to worry about. We don't want to go over 10. This one goes to 2000. This goes to 2.5 million in its measurement. Now, a lot of people swear by EMF clothing and other people say, mm, not so much but the meters will tell us exactly what's happening to the levels that we're being exposed to with and without EMF clothing. The source of the EMF today is coming from the cell phone. The cell phone has a lot of energy coming from it because it's just got one bar, but we are about four feet away from these antennas. Now we've got cell phone and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi functionality all running and so there's a lot of EMF coming from the cell phone and let's see what happens when you put here's the beautiful t-shirt from Lambs and if I put it right on top of the phone we're going to see those levels go down because yes it does block 99% of that EMF but think of that EMF that's coming from this phone this invisible energy as smoke where's the smoke going the smoke right now is going back at me probably and so we're going to take the shirt off because that's not how you would use it. You wouldn't cover the phone with the material because then you couldn't use the phone because the phone couldn't have any signal. So let me make sure we still have signal. Yep, we still have the one bar. And this is really how you would use clothing. You would put the clothing on you and you'd be getting exposure from the phone. You'd be getting exposure from Wi-Fi. You'd be getting ambient exposure. And in some cases like this, you'd be getting direct exposure. And so what the research says is that the EMF different times can reflect back and create hotspots, meaning that there would be an increase of the EMF, especially uh, back at other people and around the parts of your body that aren't exposed. So what are we seeing now? Did the peak has gone up to 12,500 and the max is 17. So yes, definitely in the extreme level right now. Exactly. And then what's happening over with our directional meter? Uh, one, 150 to 250. Here it is. This is the cute t-shirt from Lance. And I have to tell you, it's very comfortable. It's stretchy. The material is soft, but it has that metallic thread, which as you saw, can reflect the EMF radiation back at the people around you. Remember, we started with no shielding whatsoever at over 7,000. And once we put the shielding on the other side of the phone and then looked at what was happening with the meters, we could see the energy increased to over 17,000. And I have seen people wear head to toe shielding, including visors over their face who were very EMF sensitive and had wonderful results because they were wrapped in a Faraday. They were completely protected. Nothing was exposed. And that's the first thing about shielded clothing. It's partial shielding, meaning that there are parts of your body that are still exposed. What I take away from this demo and from the research is that partial shielding isn't 100% effective. Obviously, the first reason why is it just partial shielding. Part of your body is still subjected to the EMF and a building biologist I know and talk about likes to say what part of your body isn't important. And another thing from the research we learned is that the EMF can be reflected and there can hot spots and interference can be created, which can also cause 
extra exposure to right at the edge of where the EMF shielding stops and your body starts. So these are things to consider. And the best thing that I know to do is to hardwire, to take your phone or your device whenever you can, your Wi-Fi, turn it off. And if you need to use it, you hardwire it to the internet. Right now with this phone hardwire, I can use a messaging app like Signal and I can chat or I can video chat. I can go anywhere online. I basically can do anything on my phone with zero EMF exposure except for talk on it. So it's not like a regular cell phone. You can't text or talk, but it's one great solution to lower your direct contact with EMF. Other great solutions we have on our website, Tech Wellness. Please check it out. Like, subscribe, watch more of these videos. We talk a lot about the things that are being offered out there as EMF protection. We want you to be safe. We want you to do what works. I'm August Price with Tech Wellness. Be well.